Yes, my friend. How are you, Muslim? I, 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 I'm no more Muslim Christian prince. I'm calling from Malaysia. I've been trying okay. to, but I want to thank you so much because I was a, I was born Catholic Christian, right. and then don't know how I, I got into this cult. But you saved me, honestly. Thank you very much, love brother. You're welcome, thank my friend. You are live on air, so your voice is coming. If you don't want to be alive, you better hang up. Oh, I see. Yeah, we are live on air. Uh, so how can I get in touch with you, brother? Uh, well, this is the only way. I, I apologize. I only take my, I open my Skype only when I'm live. Oh, I see. Only. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we are happy for you that you decide to leave this cult. And I hope more from militia will leave this garbage religion. Yeah, with me, from the day I, 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 I was just coincidentally, you know, I was first, I uh, was a Muslim. I was you really before? Muslim. You called me before? Yes, so many times I tried and just now. It's early morning in Malaysia now. Yeah, what, what uh, like you use a you use a Muslim name when you call me before? I don't know, brother. I just simply, I just, I just okay, simply no just type like that. Uh, okay. I'm about, okay. Uh, I'm already about seventy years old, you see, and I and I was already about forty over years in the Islam, and then suddenly I was just scrolling. How, how many the, years uh, you were Muslim? How many, how many years? Forty over years, brother. Forty? Forty. years, brother. I forty years as a Muslim. Was, 40 years as yeah. a Muslim. Yes, okay, why? And so why, I also, why, why, and why I, you decide to leave Islam now? What happened? You see, I, I, in fact, I was a very strong Muslim when I was uh, doing Dawah and about 60 over people, I converted them into Islam. Mm. And then suddenly I felt something not nice. And then I was just, you know, trying to, I was following the, the, the you know, the Jama Tablik. Mm. And that was the thing that really put me into a, deep uh, real i was a musician and i gave up all the kind of dressing and i, I was using the turban and everything and i thought that was the true religion you know and then 40 years i was there and then one day i was just scrolling the the, uh, the youtube and i found your name christian prince i just simply clicked in and that's it i got into you and then one day i think you were you were you were, you, were, you were saying to somebody if you want to know the truth of uh, uh, christ just say that you are out of the guilt and you will see a fountain bursting into your heart. And I said that, and I am already a different man. Honestly, I'm a different man now. And I'm, and on this, on, from your side, after listening to you, now already seven people have already left the Islam. That's wonderful. I, I'm That's also, right. you see, because each time I listen to you, there is something, something I get into it. And in fact, my whole family also left the, the cult. But That's I have that a little bit of a contradiction there because you know in this country i cannot openly say eh? so that's why i'm planning something else like my brother but thank you very much brother and i always you are welcome always and i'm happy for your family to leave islam too and all those who left islam and we you know that i have my book for free in your language right yeah. but i can read english you know i i'm not very okay good but i mean you have we have it for you in in your language for free so you can share it with your friends Yes, uh, sure. sure, sure. Yeah, with anyone in your country who speaks the language is for free as a gift from me for all people yes. of Malaysia. All right? Yes, brother, thank you. Brother. brother bless you and we are happy that you you, you left Islam. Thank you. Okay, brother. Okay, thank brother. You. Keep on doing this. All right. Sorry, I hang up on you before you finish. Uh, <clears throat> well, this, this is the, uh, uh, you know, people leave Islam. We do not know. I don't know. I mean, he's, he left. This guy, he called me before. And he left. He is a Muslim for 40 years. And uh, even his family left Islam, his friends, they are leaving Islam, you know. So, so the Lord, he worked, you know, in an amazing way. And he helped more people to come out of this garbage. Here we have Mr. Uh, Hikma. Uh, Hikma, you know, he cannot, he did not like our answer. You love to kick big, but had it when it shoe is on other food it is time to admit that you are being intellectual hypocrite here okay i decide to convert to islam when i get the nipples hikmat your name is hikmat which means wisdom i decide now after you shot me with this text which i cannot understand to convert to islam and i want the nipples now i want you to explain to me 
when your wife she give her nipples to a strange man like me what that will do exactly to me that's it i give up you won you won here we go forget about my foot left foot right right foot you won i can't even understand what you are saying you love to knit big butt eight it did what the heck is that hello hello yes, today. My friend. yes we are my live friend? on air we are live on air yes my friend uh we are we are from the philippines uh we right. are the a catholic group here in the philippines okay uh can we invite you to have you uh uh so uh, uh we uh, talk to talk our group which is called punto per punto uh uh later this uh 8 p.m here in the philippines today yeah today today 8 p.m in the philippines that will be what i don't know i will check it out so this is like a church group uh can i send you uh, a link uh, because uh some muslims here in in our country challenges challenges the our catholic uh, catholic hmm. group to okay, my them. friend, my friend, uh, I want you to do this. Tell them, tell them your challenge is accepted and we have a Christian brother. He will debate yeah. you. Okay, don't tell okay, them his name is a Christian prince. Don't tell them, I'm warning you. Don't tell okay. them his name is a Christian prince, no. Just tell them we are ready. Tell us when, tell us the date, tell us the time, and we will do it online. Because, yep, yep. because you know, of uh, Corcona. Corcona, you know, is very dangerous, you know. So, uh, <laughs> so tell them... And, uh, yeah, but can can we set can we set a uh, 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 meeting with my group so that they can talk to you also? Yeah, so we can our you know uh, just organize it. Don't worry about me. You know, I'm ready anytime. Even if it's for me like 4 a.m. in the morning, I would wake up just to make them shish kebab and don't worry about it. Consider, okay, okay. The, consider those Muslim group who want to debate you became homeless already. But never tell them they will debate who. Just for surprise them. So like you are the one who called me first in Skype. And then you call them, and then we will have joint conversation, and we'll go live on air, and everybody will okay. see how, okay. how the Hamas okay. will work. All right, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you, my friend. Bye -bye. All right. Hamas time. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? I mean, Muslims are people of logic, my friend. I mean, Islam all of it is logic. If you go and kill some uh, 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 Christians and Jews and Hindus, Allah will give you 72 version, each one of them, her private part, fit for your private part, which is in this. You don't even look authentic narration. Okay, so Hikmat, are you saying to me that you Muslims are a bunch of liars? Guys, look what this guy is saying. You don't even look that authentic narration, why you don't show your viewer the exact details behind each hadith? You post and show the source for the interpretation in your Bible. I show it. And I'm showing the interpretation. What about you call me? You are the Muslim. And you give me, here we go. What is the behind the source of this hadith? Tell me. Why you don't call me and help us? Why you don't do that? What's wrong with you? Call us right now, help us. And this is story in front of us, we have any problem, my friend. I want you to tell me, what is behind this? A woman, she came to the prophet, she has a growing man in her house, and her husband is jealous. The prophet, he ordered the woman to give her boobs to him, why? Uh, are you Christian liars for having Gnostic text? No, stop lying, hypocrite. Mm. Bible in jail, which means this is the book of John, not the Gnostic. So you are a certified idiot like your, like your prophet. Can you name for me the Bible of the Gnostic? Give me the name, as long as you are the genius. Go ahead. Gnostic, Gnostic. <laughs> 
Even your stupid prophet, he called our Bible in Jeel, which means he chose the book of John. Potato. I mean, this is the guy, you know, today. Are we going to fast with this hikman? Muslims, you better bring me someone. Okay, you know what? We will change the topic. Forget about the nipples. It's embarrassment, I know. And not only that, 10 times. I mean, why, would, why not 9? Why a woman, she have to give her breast to a stranger 10 times? Why 10? Why 10? I want to know. What will happen if he did suckle her nipples 9 times, 9 days, and half? Like, what would happen when you do the 10? Does that mean his stomach is full of milk? Why 10? Any Muhammadan can tell us the hikmah behind this, the wisdom? Hmm? Anyone? Forget about this one. Let us go to something more. You know, more wise, more wise. I mean, this is really stupid. Muhammad is, sometimes he says stupid things, but not always. Okay. Well, uh, Muhammad, as you know, he's a prophet. And because he's a prophet, he was in the control of the devil. Have you ever heard of a prophet was bewitched? Where was Allah when Muhammad was bewitched? Is it true that it took Allah 12 months to take off 12 knots, which a Jewish guy he put for Muhammad and he was controlling him? I mean, do you see how fast Allah is? It took him 12, 12 months to take the 12 knot of voodoo. So what happened, brother? You know, I'm very good in art, all right? I mean, all of you, you know that. You, you cannot deny it. I mean, you can, you can deny it, but you will pay for that. <laughs> so there is a Jewish guy. His name is Lubaid ibn Asum. He decided to make knots for Muhammad. Knot number one, knot number two, knot number three, knot number four, knot number five, knot number six, knot number seven, knot number, uh, number nine, Number 10, number 11, number 12, Al Takbir. <coughs> and now, after this guy, he did 12 knots for Muhammad. Muhammad went not. Because this is how you make somebody go not. You make 12 knots for him. So, this man, you know, he did the 12 knot for Muhammad. And Muhammad went not, he was bewitched, and he imagined himself doing things, in fact, he did not. As an example, once Muhammad, he went in the middle of the night, actually, it wasn't, to be honest with you, it was like 2 in the morning. He went to do, you know, to pee like everybody, you know. He came back, he lay down next to Aisha, and then he said to Aisha, like, you know, he, because he now he's under the control of the knots, you know. He said to Aisha, uh, Aisha, do you usually when we open the door of the bathroom, the light come by itself. Aisha, she is asleep, but still she can, she can think. She said, no, honey, <laughs> no, this is the refrigerator. <laughs> so the prophet imagined himself going to the bathroom to pee, but in fact, he did pee in the refrigerator. Can you tell me how then in the world what we see in the front of us happening? Can you call me and tell me what is behind the story? As long as you are the one who insists to tell us the, what is behind the story. He's a prophet of God now and he pee in the refrigerator. Thinking that this is the bathroom. And the only way we know it is was the refrigerator because when he opened the door, the light turned on by itself. And Allah, he wait all this time and the prophet is under the black magic. Any Muhammadan can tell us what's happening? 
You are a Christian, told me, make slave, sex a slave out of your version of your enemy. Well, I challenge you to show me where in the Bible it says you make sex a slave of your enemy. In the same time, I can show you right now your prophet raping women, making them sex slaves immediately. Actually, there is a there is a video in uh, what is it's called uh, uh, got a channel for those Christians from England. I forgot the name of the channel. A former Muslim is <coughs> talking about Allah giving permission to work as a pimp. <laughs> And who is the women you, you use as a, as a sex uh, slaves? They are slaves. And there's a verse about it in the Quran, and you will see those Abdul, three or four of them. The first thing they see in the video, cook like brother, Allah, he gave us permission to work as a pimp. Go watch it. Those are Muslims, and they are Christians. Those are Muslims, very well known. al -Bagha is not forbidden in Islam and Muslims they use their sex their slaves are sex slaves for business they are a bunch of pimps and the verse in 24 chapter 24 verse number 33 is so clear in front of us suku yeah suku film suku film go look there there is a title of a video it says look like Allah give us permission to be pimp Three Muslims, Muhammadan, they were talking about it. And they are the one who chose the word, gave us permission to work as a pimp. They are, not us. All of this, Muslims, you know what this drama is about? Why nobody want to call us and tell us what is Allah is about? What's wrong with this religion? You Christians, you have sex slave. Where? How many? Uh, how many slave Jesus he owned, and where in the Bible it says you can have sex slave, and where in the Bible it says you can be a pimp. This is in your religion, as you see. Any Muhammadan? Why they are scared? What's happening? What's happening? Where is the proud Muhammadan who they knew Islam and they can explain Islam to us? And brother, Islam is an amazing religion. I mean, what happened? Where are, where are you? Are you ashamed? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? My friend Hikmah, please listen, listen Hikmah. The Quran, my brother, is the, is the book of moral, brother. Let, let us talk about only the Quran, because there is no morality in other books. Let us be honest here. This is why in the book of morality, it says any woman, she want to give her vagina to the Prophet as a privilege for him. This is teaching us the top morality. This is from God, brother. God, he went to his office. He started thinking, how many women Muhammad he can if? So he started counting. He says, okay, prophet. Indeed, we have made lawful for you, your wives, but already he's if in them two, two centuries ago. And uh, okay, and then uh, the daughter of your, uh, and, and those who Allah gave you from the spoil of war, or a sex slave. Any woman you capture in war, you if her. The daughter of your partner, uncle, uh -huh. and the daughter of your partner, and uh -huh. and the daughter of your maternal uncle, uh -huh. and the daughter of a uh, and okay, and a woman she is migrated with you. Like, what the heck? This means all the Muslims, and any woman, any look how faithful a faithful woman she offer herself to the Prophet to F her. Do you see the faith? Do you see the faith? A faith, only faithful women will do that, brother. Only a faithful woman, she will take off her pant to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Women who don't take, 
they are praying to the prophet and they are Muslims, they are not faithful, obviously. Actually, this is the examination at that time for how faithful you are. If you are faithful, you have no panty for the prophet. If you have panty, you are not faithful. The person in front of you. Do you see it? What does this have to do with God? Why does God is making to him such a verse saying any woman she wanna if her? What does that mean? Take me, baby. This is from God. What does this have to do with God? How that will serve God, you know? And this is only privilege for Muhammad. Look, it says a privilege, exclusive privilege, exclusive. All of it is about his penis. Isn't it obvious that this person is a fraud? Uh, Osman saying, a dirty mouth Christian princes. You always talk about nasty stuff. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Osman. But you just admitted that your prophet is nasty and he have filthy mouth because I just read the Quran. You always talk about those stuff, but this is stuff in your Quran, what we would do. Should I make a new Quran? Clean Quran? All your Quran is about F her, divorce her, take her, temporary marriage, marrying children, beat your wife, high five. Nasty stuff. When you're a prophet, he say to a man, go and tell him, bite the penis of your father. Should I change it and make it bite the zucchini, zucchini of your father just to make you, your feeling doesn't hurt? When your prophet is filthy, what I can do, he said, bite the penis of your father. By the way, Mr. Uh, Osman, did you bite the penis of your father? Hmm. Any Muhammadan? Who can tell us why Muhammad have a, a, a special privilege about his penis? Why it says there this is only privilege for Muhammad? Why? Why not all Muslims? They can have the same like the Prophet. Isn't he a Muslim like the rest? Why his privilege is about his private part and his money and his pocket? What is, what is the purpose from this? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Abdul? By the way, I'm thinking, by the way, to apply to work in the Middle East as a Prophet Muhammad, because I want to have some privilege, you know? I go there, I claim that I'm Prophet Muhammad, and the, if they ask me what is the proof, I say, oh, easy. I have no miracles. And then they will believe me. Because according to them, the Prophet do not, Prophet Muhammad do not need to have miracles. No, he do not. Why? Because you will not believe it anyway. Oh, yeah, same for me. If you ask me, do you have miracles? I will say I'm like Muhammad. I have zero miracle. Why you don't have miracles? Because you don't believe it anyway. Have you ever heard of somebody claiming to be a Prophet and he is claiming that the reason he don't have any miracle because he will not believe it anyway. <laughs> so why the Muslim believe in you anyway? <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? What's wrong with you? Why are you saying? Don't say it in Arabic again. This is stupid. What the heck? And we refrain from sending sign. Only because the men, formers and adjacent, treated them like garbage. Like, what the heck? But as we know, the Jewish accept the miracles, and the Jewish accept even the miracle of Jesus. Majority of the Jews, they converted to Christianity already. This is a false excuse. Uh, did you see Mimi Hijab talking about the fire? Yeah, well, yeah. it's funny that they are talking about pedophile and their prophet is the, is the biggest pedophile in the history. Any Abdul? Any Muhammadan?
Yeah, keep them to yourself. That's mean you take them as a slave. But nowhere it says you sleep with them. You are a stupid mental like a prophet. If you continue reading, you will see that it says that if, you know, and, and those, you shave their head. And if you marry, if you want to marry one of them. So you are a false man like your prophet. Do we have any Abdul? Okay, let us have a challenge here. I will not ask you a question if you call me. I will give you the opportunity to prove to me Allah is, is God in any way you wish. You choose how to prove it. You choose how to talk about it. You choose which verses from the Quran or Hadith to show me. Anyone want to do that? Hmm? Anyone? It's a challenge. An open challenge. Look, you know, look and look how weak this cult is. Not a single Muslim. He is confident that if he really call us, he will be able to prove to us anything about his God. What is the proof that Allah is God? What is, well, there's no proof. All the evidence lead us that Muhammad is the only one who fabricate his Quran and the name of Allah as exists from previous belief from pagan religions. As an example, the Muslim they say that Muhammad is a son of a man, his name is Abdullah. But Abdullah will go to hell. How he is, why he will go to hell? He is a slave of Allah. They will say to you, he's a pagan. Is what? Is pagan. So how he is pagan, then his name is a slave of Allah. Because the pagans are the ones who worship Allah. Very simple. The pagans, I can show you right now uh, videos from Muslim sheikhs saying clearly that pagans, there is exactly the same worship. They go around the Kaaba, they touch the black stone, they kiss the black stone, they pray in front of the Kaaba. They are the same. They believe in Allah.